Well, I've been coming to this show, I think, for 10 or 12 years, I don't know exactly. And it's, it's always a, a car enthusiast show, a lot of horsepower, uh, hypercars, supercars, whatever you want to call them. And what we're seeing for the first time is more of a story about autonomy, letting uh, maybe the computers take over some of the driving, including for vehicles like the one behind me. And uh, also, so vehicles uh, driving potentially uh, 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 automatically on their own, autonomous operation, mobility services, cars that might be shared. Uh, maybe that's a means to get into one of these supercars uh, without actually owning it, uh, getting it on a, on a shared basis. And mobility services, uh, using cars in different ways, and, and of course electrification. So I think, I think in many respects Geneva has always been at the forefront of electrification, uh, but certainly taking a, a, a giant step forward here, in particular with Polestar, uh, and the, the launch that they had here of the Polestar 2, and, and the Google platform in the Polestar, which was kind of a game changer for infotainment systems and customer uh, user experiences in the car. What, what we're seeing here at, at Geneva, and increasingly at, at other automotive shows as well, is a very aggressive, creative destruction going on with the car makers. So all of these uh, technologies that they're looking at, electrification, autonomy, mobility services, they're all undermining, challenging, reformatting the existing business models. Will we have dealers? What will dealers be like? Are car companies going to continue to be B2B selling cars to dealers? Or are they going to start offering transportation?